The Leader of the Opposition. Uh, Mr President, my question without notice is to the Minister for Ageing, Minister for Disabilities and Minister for Multiculturalism. Minister, given your answers yesterday on the Terminal Government's $66 million cut to the NDIS information campaign mm -hmm. and your commitment this week to develop a state-based information campaign, how much have you budgeted for this campaign? And is, this is just now a, a case of New South Wales taxpayers footing the bill for the Turnbull government's cuts. Very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. Mr. President, I thank the honourable member for his question. And can I say at the outset that I thank him for actually getting the question right today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday oh, he tried to disquiet me. That was absolutely clear when you look at my answers to my the previous question, the one asked to me yesterday. I was in no doubt. Extraordinary. <laughs> Mr President. Let's talk about NDIS information and the great work that's being undertaken by my agency, Attic. Fabulous work. Let's, let's talk about what we've done so far with the NDIS information. We've established a team with thin facts dedicated to NDIS communications. We've communicated directly with people with disability. We've held information sessions and forums, including engaging over 8,000 people in my choice status workshops with the Council for Intellectual Disability. We've created a New South Wales specific <coughs> comprehensive website that is the most accessible website that has ever been created in New South Wales. We've worked with stakeholders like Disability Peaks, advocacy groups and service providers to disabled information. We've organised our ability linkers to work closely with people with disability and families. Mr President, I've been travelling with staff, meeting with staff from Attic and travelling across the state to talk to local service providers, yeah, yeah, people yeah. with disability, their families and carers. We've developed culturally appropriate resources for Aboriginal people with disability and their communities. We broadened our engagement from Hunter New England and the PM Blue Mountains to target people who have not yet entered the scheme. We've developed a number of information and graphs that show who and how people with disability can access the NDIS. Mr. President, since 2011, we've invested more than $30 million in sector and workforce development through the Industry Development Fund. We've invested over $14 million in consumer capacity building projects. Mr. President, each and every one of these actions are part of our budget. It is part of my $2.7 billion budget that we have for people with disability in New South Wales. That's what we do, Mr President. We have been doing this since day one, and we continue to do this, Mr President. It's what's been budgeted for. Mr President, can I also indicate what we are continuing to do and what we will do in the future? We are already working on a New South Wales-based information campaign to help people with disability transition to and get the most out of the NDIS. The campaign will be localised to align with the geographical rollout and will be released later in the year. What those opposites who still have not understood how the NDIS works? It would help them if they did understand it. We are still in our three-year trial period. We launched 12 months early in the Nepean Blue Mountains. The rollout commences for half the state on 1 July 2016 and for the remaining one half of the state on 1 July 2017. And we continue to put out the necessary information when it's as you should to the appropriate areas, as should, which is part of my budget to do it. so. It has always been part of my budget to do so. Can I also indicate, Mr. President, you should do that more. part of the information comes from advocates and information groups that I fund as part of my budget and that I committed to continue to fund till 30 June 2018. But they don't care about that because they don't understand how it works. So, Mr President, we're also continuing and ADIC will continue and will commence writing further letters and providing further information to each and every one of our clients. That's what we do during a transition. We will continue to talk to... That would be time.